All right, guys, well, I'm back today with an overview of my new Mini M4. This was a project pieced together over a couple of years, and it's on a registered SBR lower with some interesting features that really stand out over some of the other Mini M4 videos I've done in the past. I've been posting some videos of Instagram on this and really mentioning some specials going on on some of the components, but it's time for the full overview. If you're interested in daily deals or a jump on what's going to be on the channel, definitely check out my Instagram page as well as the stories for a lot of good deals. And if you're looking for info on any of the parts and components on this particular setup, head over to the campsite page in the description below because there's actually some sales and deals going on right now. And before we get too far into the overview, I also want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for donating the ammo to help make this video. They also have a code 704 Tactical for 5% off and free shipping on orders over $200. Now let's dig in. This revolves around a few main components that I've really fallen in love with over the years. And the first is the complete Mini M4 upper assembly with a 10 and a half inch barrel and a fixed A2 front sight post. Now this is an interesting setup from Aero Precision and Optics Planet was nice enough to send this out to me a while back and it's been running great ever since. And I probably have close to about seven to 800 rounds through this particular upper assembly with no issues whatsoever and its current configuration configuration. Now the cool thing about this is it utilizes a free floating M-lock rail system yet the durability and reliability of a fixed A2 front sight post, bayonet lug, and the traditional nitride 10 and a half inch barrel. I love everything about this setup including just as the overall bomb proof design yet it retains the accuracy because of the free floating M-lock aero precision rail system. It also has QD slots on the side and overall it's been functioning great down at the range. If you want a more detailed overview of this upper assembly I've got previous reviews but it's been working great down at the range. I also have the Optics Planet code 704TAC or 704TAC for 5% off your Optics Planet order. They also have a ton of other discounts and deals and blazing deals available on their website and that info will be on the campsite page. Now to really top off this complete upper assembly, the rear sight is going to be critical for this particular true form Mini M4 setup. You want a solid, robust rear sight, and that's where Optics Planet comes in again. They actually sent this over at my request specifically for this setup. The AR-15 Super Slim Fixed Rear Sight by UTG, and this is my favorite fixed rear sight I've used on a setup. Not just on a budget, but in general. It's about a $50 sight but it is worth every penny. Now, the cool thing is, is it doesn't use that large rotary knob that gets in the way, but a really nice set screw. It also has windage and elevation adjustments and a small and large um, adjustment right here, or a small and large hole in that our rear sight for CQB or close-up shooting. And everything about this rear sight is just proven over the years. I've actually used this in the past with no issues whatsoever. So I know I needed to grab another one for this particular setup and it's been working great down at the range. So again, a huge shout out to Optics Planet for sending that out. If you were grabbing an M4 style, whether it is the free floating rail system or not, and it's used a lot utilizing this A2 front sight post, this is a great rear sight to grab. And that really completes off the sighting system for this upper assembly, minus the brand new hollow sun optic. I'm using the SCRS, and this is a multi-reticle design, and it's one of the coolest micro red dots I've utilized. It really blows me away at the quality and specs and features, and Optics Planet also sent this out for the builds, but we will be doing a full overview of it. So subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss that. But if you're looking for a, a summary of this optic, long battery life, ultra clear glass, and the reticle selection is absolutely spectacular. There's so many options in here. The list goes on and on when you are selecting those reticles. Now moving along to the lower assembly. Again, this is one of my registered SBR lowers and that's why I can have a stock with the short barrel on there. Now this one is from Palmetto State Armory and they offer a lot of different configurations including some really good deals on a lot of different versions. Again, that info will be on the campsite page as low as about 119 starting off. But what makes this Mini M4 unique is the stock system from KAK Industries. If you follow the channel, you'll know I recently did a video discussing KAK Industries and the sale going on right now. And I believe it's a last day it's going to be live, so you'll definitely want to check it out. 
Now this is dramatically shorter than a standard stock and buffer tube system, and it utilizes a custom flat wire spring and buffer system, and it works out great, and it functions great down at the range, and it makes it really easy to stow and go with this Mini M4 setup. If you're watching this video, you can also use the code 704TACTICAL for 10% off anything on KAK's website, no matter what. And again, that info will be in the campsite page in the description below. In a nutshell, the PSA lower has been working great with the Aero Precision Complete Upper. My go-to rear sight has been working like a champ. And this new stock system from KAK really pulls the build together. Top it off with a micro compact optic with all the specs and features of this brand new Hollow Sun. You've got a win for a personal defense close quarters CQB Mini M4. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it gives you something interesting to think about. It's kind of out of the norm for kind of a micro gun. I love the way this thing is set up, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What would you change? What would you add? What would you take off? But the only thing missing on this right now would be a light and a sling, which is coming next in the project. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.